Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. And today is Tuesday, um, the 14th. Yes, it's the 14th of April, 2020. Um, today is one of my nephew's birthdays on my husband's, my his sister's oldest boy. He turns 40 today, oh my gosh. He doesn't even watch this, but I wanted to say happy 40th birthday, Jonathan. I love you. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I have already watched a few podcasters today because when I get off, when I'm done with work and my phone calls, I, you know, put on a, a YouTube so that I can try to catch up and, you know, see what's out there. And I think that, um, Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter and I must have been on some kind of level, um, <laughs> thinking the same stuff. <clears throat> she had mentioned uh, that they usually have a get together, some kind of a gathering uh, for the holidays around Easter. And um, this is the first time, this is the first Easter since we bought this house 15 years ago that we haven't had an Easter egg hunt. And I always, always cooked a big meal and everybody came over and it's like, oh. So yeah, Debbie, you're not the only one who was all up in your feelings, let me tell you. Um, every stinking year we put call from Tracy like, Williams. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Alexa, stop. Oh, sorry. Um, so, uh, everybody wants to call me when I'm right in the middle. It's so funny. I'll have to call him back. It's one of my brothers. Um, but yeah, I, it's just so weird. Usually we get anywhere from mm, three to 500 eggs and spread them out in the backyard. And when the weather is bad, we turn our guest room downstairs into a, a, like a little egg hunt for all the kids if the weather's, you know, if it's bad or, or whatever. But um, yeah, so, you know, this Easter was just the three of us and I, I spoke to my family members and, you know, everything, but it, just was not the same. It really, really, really was not the same. And I was, you know, we watched the Ten Commandments. That's something we do every year, you know, every year. Or when I'm like just feeling like I gotta watch Cecil B. DeMille's Ten Commandments, let's put it on. <laughs> but definitely every Easter. Um, and so it's like, you know, I'm just like, I'm missing my grandbabies, I'm missing my coworkers and my friends. It's like, oh my gosh, this is just such a bummer. Um, I mean, I totally get it, but it's, it still doesn't, um, make me feel better than I, you know, that we, you know, this is the first year that we haven't been able to do that. And I enjoy doing it. I come from a big family. My husband has, you know, he's, there's five of them and, um, there's still four He's cause he lost his sister a few years ago. And, but you know, she has grandkids that are Easter egg hunt age and my grandbabies. And there's just always such a house full I just love having a house full of family um, and friends because I would invite friends. I'm like, if you don't have anything to do, bring them on. Just, you know, all I asked them to do was bring eggs filled or eggs and candy. And we'll fill them up uh, while we're eating. We always had ham and noodles and stuff. And it's like, ugh. But, but on a happier note, I'm just thinking about next year and how next year will be different because this will be over with. And we'll be back to our, hopefully our regular, regularly scheduled programming. Oh, so yeah. Anyway, it just made it really, mm, I don't know. It was just kind of a bummer. We had a wonderful service. My, my, uh, pastor Josh and his wife, Claire, um, you know, since we haven't been able to actually attend our church, we have been doing, or he's been doing a live feed for us on Wednesdays and on Sundays. And it's just, man, it just makes us feel so much connected, so much more connected because everyone can put their little comment that I'm, you know, we're here and what's going on. And he has, um, uh, finally signed up for YouTube. So, um, if anybody's interested, um, you know, you want to see a Christian church, um, uh, he's just a live feed. There's hundreds of them out there. And if you have your own, I will not feel bad at all, but I am going to put the, um, the link down below for anybody who's interested. Cause I think he's wonderful. He's been with us almost two years now. Cause his little girl just turned, 
she just turned to and she was like six weeks old when um they first came to the church so <laughs> oh my gosh she's like my she's oh i just love her she's just adorable but anyway <laughs> so if you're watching hi pastor josh hi claire hi daphne hi gabe and oh what was the last one eliana she's my favorite i love her <laughs> i love them all but i don't know you know you you have one that just kind of just tugs at you that's her <laughs> i will deny that child nothing nope so anyway <laughs> so it wasn't a rant i was just you know sad and i was watching her and i was like getting really emotional listening to debbie talk about how she really missed the fact that, you know, she usually has like 25 or 30 people and there's like five of them. And, you know, our first, probably the first 10 years of Easter, we had about 35 to 40 people and most of them family because the kids were younger then. So anyway, I do hope that everybody, you know, had a wonderful Easter and, you know, even though you couldn't celebrate it with the ones that you wanted that you were able to call or video chat um, you know, communicate any way you could. And, um, yeah. So let me tell you <laughs> what I've been working on. <laughs> I, let me get a sip of my tea. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, this is what, this is Tuesday. So it hasn't quite been a week. I think I, I finally picked up the hook again. <laughs> Maybe four days ago, four or five days ago. It's been close to a week. And um, like Debbie stated as well, she likes marrying, uh, making hats because they're therapeutic. I think hats will always be my favorite thing to crochet, hands down. Um, you know, there's other things that, that I enjoy doing, but um, hats are definitely my favorite. So I have uh, several to show you. One, two, three, four, five. I have seven. I have seven hats and um, a cowl and a couple of shawls. So um, I know in my last video, maybe not the one with Amanda, the one before that, I started a shawl. I can't even remember what this is called now. Anyway, I'll link it. I'll link it in the description box below. But it makes its own edging as you do it, which I thought was kind of nice. Um, this is made with mandala spirit and I did not use the entire cake. Uh, I really like this and I like it because you can kind of bunch it up and wear it, you know, around. Um, let's see. And I like, cause they're long, you know, you make some shawls and I'll show you, you make some and they're not as long. So I do like the way this is made. I don't normally wear like a shawl over your shoulder. But this is something that I would probably, well, I don't know. See, now that's, see, this is long. See, that's, it's, I don't know how to put it on, but you see what I mean, right? And um, it's very airy. It's very lightweight. I love it. And I do like, I got to get it off of here. I do like the way it turned out. So I will be making another one. Um, and it is a tutorial on Facebook that I found. This thing worked up. It took me two days to make it. And that's just when I was working, got, you know, was done with work between four and five o'clock, got dinner ready, sat down. We watched the movie. I worked on it for a couple of hours. So, um, I have no idea how, how long it actually took me, but I just love this thing. I love it. I even like the color. Cause at first I was like, Oh, you know, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but, um, I do like it. I like it a lot and it's just so lightweight and it's, you know, very drapey. Makes me very happy. So I was very thrilled with that. Um, so the next one that I made, I just wanted to whip up something quick. And you know, most of my shawls, get they are given away. This one will go to a retirement home here in town. And I am glad that um, I only used one because I don't like them too big. That way, if they're sitting in our wheelchair, it won't get in the wheels or anything like that. I have no idea what the actual correct measurements are or whatever. Um, I just know that one of these, the Yarn Bee Sugar Wheels, this was from my stash from probably last year or the year before. This is Sweet Shop Hop. And it's, um, I just wanted one. 
And so it just made a nice little triangle square or triangles. Did I seriously just say triangle square? Man, I tell you what, I don't know. <laughs> it made one nice triangle shawl. And, um, you know, I can put it over my shoulders and, you know, so it would, it'll warm you because see, it'll covers the shoulders quite nicely. So, and I think if you're, you know, sitting in a wheelchair in a chair, um, it would be perfect. And this is just a V stitch. See, just one V stitch inside of another and just adding on the ends. Now this would be, if you wanted it larger, you just keep going, of course. Um, uh, but this was the only, the only, um, roll, the sweet roll that I had or sugar wheel. It's the only one I had in that color. And this kind of reminds me of like cherry Jubilee or cherry chocolate chip, but sweet shop works. And so that's that. And it just took a couple of hours cause it was just really quick. And I used the recommended hook is an eye hook, but I used a K. I used my Clover K hook and it whipped up quite nicely and it's it's actually kind of quite soft I like it so that's everything uh, oh wait there's one other thing that's not a hat so <laughs> but I have to show it all together so um, okay so Debbie uh, this is where you and I are deaf on top of the Easter and getting all in your feelings um, I I too have made stormy waters um, that pattern I, I made it for the first time Everyone was talking about it. Every time I'd watch a podcast, they would have it pop up. And I will put her um, tutorial in the description box below. And um, I have no idea what color this is. I was looking everywhere for it because it was the remnant of a dress that I had made. I didn't like this one because it just, to me, it was kind of big um, as opposed to the other ones that I made. But it's adult size. So, um, and this, I know this. It's, I love this yarn. So if you guys recognize the, the colorway, let me know. But I like making this one. It made a really cute dress. And then I made um, a cupcake, a cupcake hat with it. So this is the, um, the Stormy Waters. And I really, really like making this hat. It is awesome. And you know what's so great? You can't find the, uh, the seam because of the way this hat is worked up. It is so awesome. I really like it. So this was the first one that I made. Um, this, you know, this is a four ply. It's an, I love this yarn. And I used an H hook, I think. I think an H or an I hook for this one. I think an I, I don't know. Oh, gosh darn it, I didn't check. But I do like it. So that's the first one that I made. The second one I made, I used Berry Blue. And it was Just My Stripe by Lion Brand. And this is a child size hat because I think I had made um, something else with this. And this was what, this is what was left over. So I just wanted to use leftover stash. And that's what I did. Or skeins that had already been used. I really like it. I, I mean, it just kind of looked almost like it had a little rib there, a ribbon. And then it kind of cut out. But I still like the way it looks. It's just such a cute pattern. So, yeah. So I like this side better because it kind of flows nicely. So this one's definitely a child size hat. Um, man, I was so, so happy with this one. This is... Hey, honey. <laughs> oh, Jack. What a gooper. He's whispering Chick-fil-A to me is what he's doing. Um, yeah, I, I'll be... You're fine. Take your time. I'll be done soon. <laughs> what a nerd. Um, this one was Karen Simply Soft Grape. I think it's grape. Look at how cute that turned out. I really, really, really like this one. I mean, and look, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. It's purple. Uh, I just love it. This is such a fun pattern. Um, and these work up so quick. I used an H hook. I know I used an H hook because I used my blue clover hook, which I absolutely love. Um, I also, this is another Karen and I think it's gold. It looks orange, but I think the colorway is gold. Look at how awesome is that? Oh, oh, orange.
orange is one of my favorite colors. I love it. I mean, I know it says gold because there's gold in there, but this is an orange hat. I mean, come on. Isn't that nice? And I did it, um, I think I just ended with a half double. It's like half double at the bottom. But man, and I made, when I made that first one, I was like, man, I've got to find some more yarn that, that I've used up or, or, um, might have enough that to make a hat because I really liked the way that looks. Uh, I'll be making some more this week. I've already picked out yarn. Yeah. And this one, um, I'd already made one hat for, um, hat not hate out of this and i had found more of it at the thrift store when i went back a second time they had another ball i have no idea who makes it i don't know what the colorway is i don't even know what kind of yarn this is because it's kind of shiny but um it made one regular beanie i think that i made with it or maybe a divine hat but i had enough to make another stormy waters look at how cool i just love this I wish I knew what, what yarn this was because I really like the way it turned out. Very, very nice. So, yeah. Isn't that just gorgeous? This color. I, it's just, it's got to be the color. I'm telling you. So, so that's, there's five that I made right there. I'm going to kind of like, just kind of toss them. And then, um, uh, I spoke with Rose a few days ago and we were talking about the divine hat and how it's like our all time favorite hat to make because you know it's awesome um there's so many good hat patterns out there though it's ridiculous but these whip up quick and you know that's what i like i i just wanted to be able to whip something up and grab the thing and um so out of this one yarn b sugar wheel in salt water taffy and this one has uh it's 355 yards just like the other two and um seven ounces 100% acrylic, four ply. This made two hats and a cowl. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned Rose because when I spoke with her, she, I told her, I said, you know, I really like those um, divine cowls that you're making. And she uh, sent me a link to the tutorial. And so I made one that evening, the other day. And I just love it. And what's weird is this is called saltwater taffy, right? Look at how different they all look. So this is the cowl and Rose, they are so much fun to make. I love them. They're awesome. They're stretchy. It's very, very nice. I love it. So I made that and then this hat came after. So if you notice it stopped right at the, the, um, there, the bottom can't talk today. And then I just started up the vine hat with this one. And I just think it's so cute. I just love making these hats. And then with the last of it, and it used up, I mean, I had, did I cut it? Yeah. I was going to say I had just like a little piece left, but this was the last. And this was all from one sugar wheel. Isn't that neat? So I was able to get two divine hats and a divine cowl. So there you go. So if you wanted to whip something up quick for a gift, there's three gifts right there. Or you can give them all to one person or one hat to one person and a, a set to the other. But yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, so that's what I've been up to the last week. You know, just like I said, it's just shy of a week. I will be making some more hats. Um, I'm going to make another one of those um scarves that make or yeah shawls that make their own um edging and i'll find the link or the video that i put that i talked about this and i'll you know i'll put it in the description box below but um yeah that's what i've been up to besides um working <laughs> and trying to enjoy the weather don't let that that sun fool you it's like 40 degrees outside um, last week we had beautiful weather. It got up to 84 degrees two days in a row. And then two days later, it was 35. It was ridiculous. So this is our cold front and I don't like it, but you know, we're trying to, <laughs> trying to just stay warm. Um, okay. So now that that is over, um, this is not crochet related, but I was watching Seta's place and also, uh, uh, Debbie and Debbie, thank you for that comment. Um, 
I had posted a couple of weeks ago a before and after picture because I finally hit my 65 pound mark. Um, and I was just so, so excited. It's, it's a long journey, you guys. It's just so much easier to put it on than take it off. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> but, um, Debbie, thank you so much for that comment. I, um, I just love you for saying that. And it just really helps me to know that, um, you know, <laughs> the sacrifices that I'm making, dog on it, are worth it. Um, Jack has been super wonderful. And, my girls and Amanda's been making fun of me because of my clothes being baggy. And I told her, I said, I'm not going to go buy any clothes until, um, you know, I get to my goal. I said, so when I get, I told her, I said, when I, when I get to your size, I'll just borrow yours. And she didn't even, without even blinking, she was just, um, she's like, okay, mom. She's like, deal. <laughs> That's my panda bear. So, um, but, but anyway, back to Seta's place. Um, she tagged. Uh, a bunch of people. Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter, though, tagged me um, because I am eating a little bit different with my diet uh, for your three snacks that you just like you have like your have to have isolation snacks. And um, and of course, now that I'm eating a little bit different, uh, I have my three favorites here that I would like to show you. Uh, the first one. I cannot not have these in my house. <laughs> And they're just dill pickles. But I like the small ones. The big ones are fine too. But these are just so much easier to grab. And sometimes I'll eat them with a slice of um, cheddar cheese. Because I love cheddar cheese and pickles together. I know to some people that just grosses them out. But not me. I love it. But yeah. So just, and this is my unopened jar. Because the other ones are already gone. So I might as well, I'm going to have to open those up soon. Um, my next go-to snack that I love because y'all know I like spicy and these little babies right here are amazing. They are so good. So yeah, that's the spicy type seasoned butterball turkey. They are so good. If you like spicy and then tender, I suggest you get them. And you know what? I was ordering these and buying them at Walmart. And then um, Abby and I went to, um, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree. We went to Dollar Tree and they had a box of these. Oh yeah, I bought the whole box. For a dollar a, a package? Heck yeah, bought the whole box. <laughs> um, and this one, this one is my favorite. Jack's, Jack likes the one that has, um, oh, what does it have in it? I can't even think cashews, but this is, this is another favorite of mine. It's got, um, it's called P3 portable protein pack. It's, it has dark chocolate nut.